in this last video is to answer the question that I hear all the time, where is this applicable in real life? Okay, so here is my word example. The Smiths pay their babysitter $5 before 11 p.m. and $7.50 after 11 p.m. One evening they went out for five hours and paid their babysitter $30. What time did they come home? So this would be a perfect time to see if you can set up the system of equations and solve it by using the matrix method as it specifies up here. Okay, the probably most difficult part of this is setting up the system of equations. So I'm going to use a B for before 11 p.m. and I'm going to use an A for after 11 p.m. Okay, so those are the number of hours before and the number of hours after. Well, I know that the total number of hours is five. So the number of hours before 11 plus the number of hours after 11 has to equal five hours. So that's my first equation, goes by the number of hours. The second equation is by pay. So I know it's $5 before 11, $7.50 after 11, and we know that the total amount is $30. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into my augmented matrix. 1B plus 1A equals 5. 5B plus 750A is equal to 30. Now maybe I should have used better variables because it seems like we need to be switching these around, but oh well, all means the same thing. All right, to solve this using matrix method, I want a one right here, which I already have done. So my next step is to get a zero there. So I do that by multiplying row one times a negative five and adding it to row two, and that goes into my new row two. So Scratch work, negative 5, negative 5, negative 25. Add those two guys together. Gives me 0, 2.5, and 5 for my second row. Of course, my first row stays the same. To figure out what my last row is, I want to get a 1 here. So I just take row 2 and divide by 2.5. That becomes my new row 2. So my row 1 stays the same, 0, 1, 5 divided by 2.5 gives me 2. Now I can stop here, that's my REF method, or I can go one extra step to get my 0 up there. So this one seems pretty easy, might as well go for it. I'm going to take row 1 and I'm going to subtract row 2. That goes into my new row 2. So 1 minus 0 gives me 0, 1 minus 0 gives me 1, 1 minus 1 gives me 0, and 5 minus 2 gives me 3. And just copying down my second equation. So remember my variables in my first column were B, so this stands for a B. My variable in my second columns were A, so this stands for an A. So before 11 p.m. is 3 hours. And after 11 p.m. is two hours. And so the question asks, what time did they come home? Okay, well, this doesn't answer that specifically, but it's very easy to figure out. So if they have three hours before and two hours after 11 p.m., we just take 11 p.m. and we just add two hours to it. And so that means they came home at 1 a.m. And so, there is our real-life application of solving systems of equations by using the matrix method. And so, after this set of videos, you should be pros at solving things by using the Gauss-Jordan or the RREF method or the Gaussian or just the reduced echelon form method. And so, that finishes up this section.